I'm not using glue, I'm not using tape, I'm not using any adhesives, I'm not using not a goddamn needle and thread, I'm using gel. That's right, I said it, I'm using gel. So tell me how you Blanco channel and today is a tutorial that I'm giving you on how to achieve a flawless natural looking lace frontal wig. Boom. So I'm using the Got To Be Glue Gel which is a very strong lasting holding gel that I've ever used in my entire life that I've ever seen in my entire life. So this gel it's like an extra hole, extra strength. I don't know what fucking formula they have in that bottle, but it's really good, especially for lace frontals because sometimes your lace frontal may slide back and maybe behind your hairline, or you know, it just doesn't lay flat. So you just apply a small amount of gel, place it onto in front of your hairline, and lay that lace down, and boom, that easy. You wanna see how I achieved it? Keep watching. When I'm putting on my wig, I like to take the elastic band, I place that on first. So when you put on your wig at first, it will look really freaking wiggy, okay? So don't be scared thinking as soon as you put it on, it's going to be like, oh my god, I don't look like hers. Don't worry. This is how the shit going to look for a quick minute. <laughs> So I'm going to just push it to the back and take a clip. So now when you put on your wig, it should look like this. You know, and you can adjust it, you know, if you want it lower, which you don't fucking want. If you want it more back, then I like to keep mine like right here. Okay, so show them here. You see that extra lace that's right here? Exactly. What you want to do is put your lace front on first, make sure everything, you know, lines up. And then once, you know, you kind of see, I'm going to go ahead and cut that extra lace off. Once you've cut your that extra lace off, it should look like this. Okay, it still look very wiggy. You still will probably be like, no, bitch, I need my money back because that do not look like your shit. Don't worry. So... I just have my extra my little ear flaps and I'm just gonna lay those down as well. It's gonna place the got to be gel along my hairline. Now this is not glue. Some people just think it's glue, but it's not. This is a gel, okay? It's got to be got to be ultra glue, that's the name of it. But it is a styling gel. And this gel just has an extra hold, which I freaking love because you don't have to use glue, you know. You can protect your edges. That's the point of, you know, having wigs. It's more of a protective hairstyle. And I should have done this when a bitch, you know, didn't have any makeup on. Go ahead with your blow dryer and place it on cool. You just want this to get very tacky and sticky. The same way when you do your eyelashes and you need it to get tacky and, you know, sticky. So we're just going to speed up. Now, once that's tacky, I'm just going to use the Got To Be Free Spray. And I'm just going to use very little. Now this free spray is an extra hold, okay? So now you just want to place that lace on to, you know, where you have your gel and the spray at. Tie your scarf and I say give it about three to five minutes 
to just set. All you want it to do is hold and stay in place. Okay, so while we wait and talk about this product itself, got to be like this is heaven sent. So this is not a glue. This is gel, and this is one of the strongest freaking gels that I've ever used. Where it's like you know sometimes when you have a gel, you're trying to slick down the fucking baby hairs of yours, and they just curl back up, or it's not a really good hold bitch this is this solves every every problem I typically like it for my lace front wigs now when I'm using the free spray um, it's kind of like a holding spray but I don't know what fucking formulas they use but it's like some extra strength it's like to the next level and I'm just really glad that they are very affordable. For this one, I paid $7 from the beauty supply store. And this, I believe, was the same, maybe $7 as well. Back away from that, and let's go back to our hair. Alright, so I bet you have to throw on her glasses, you know. It's getting real intense right now. So I'm just going to part my hair the way I want it. Alright, so now I have to put on my glasses for this intense moment. <laughs> but I'm not used to, you know, I'm used to doing this in the bathroom, not in a little ass mirror. First, kind of play with the baby hair so that that gel won't hold down the baby hairs for too long. Alright, so I'm just going to do a middle part. So now with the baby hairs, it covers that extra lace that you may see sometimes. It's gonna cover that so you may just want to add a little bit of baby hairs depending on you know your preference but I like to just add a few so that that extra lace you can't see it because them little hairs are you know kind of blocking it and or hiding it however you want to put it but yes so that is why you see a lot of people you're like why do they have baby hairs because it kind of just hide that extra lace so, we're going to go in and flat iron this baby. So, I like to do one side first. The other side, I'm going to pin up. So, I'm just taking my old ass flat iron. I need a new one. Anybody recommend a good ass flat iron? I'm trying to invest. And a good one. And I just like to chase it with a comb because what the comb do is, you know, it's just making sure that it gets every freaking strand. So, so tell me how you feel. Knowing I see the world when I look in your eyes. Your kisses, I dare say. Here. So this is the result of the middle part. You could change it up if you want. You know, you could wear it a side part.
if you're interested in purchasing a customized wig by me um i will leave my email below so tell me how